Welcome back to the channel and in today's video, we're gonna create this animated food poster design all inside of After Effects. Alright, just before we proceed, a lot of you who are watching the video have not subscribed to the channel. So I request you to kindly subscribe to the channel and help me reach 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year. Also, follow me on Instagram at TheMotionDesigners. Alright, back to the tutorial. Alright, so here I am inside a new composition. I have my assets, which is a Coke, a french fries, and a burger. Alright, so I'm gonna import that inside this. And maybe I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. and import the fries, scale it down, and import the coke, and scale it down, reposition it nicely inside the composition, all right? So once you're done with that, let's go ahead and create some shadows for this. Go to the effects and presets and type in drop shadow. So I'm gonna drag and drop this drop shadow on top of that burger, okay? So change this direction to 180, so that it points down, zoom it here, increase the opacity maybe around 90 and increase the distance a little bit, maybe about 12 or so and increase the softness slightly. And what I'm going to do is duplicate the shadow, control D to duplicate it and lower the opacity to maybe around 10. And increase the distance and maybe softness I'm gonna want to crank up the opacity a little bit so if you zoom out you can see here maybe the distance is a little bit too high so the whole idea of this is to create a realistic shadows here okay so I'm gonna copy this shadows control C and paste it on top of the other two layers control V to paste it okay so you can always come and refine the the you know uh, shadows All right so I'm gonna leave that for now and let's go ahead and create text combo okay so combo center it to the composition and move it just above the background this is the background by the way and I'm gonna move this up using the arrow keys. You can just move it up and go to the effects and presets and search for transform. Drag and drop it on the text and set this Q values to a negative 11 or so. It's something like that. And maybe I'm gonna move down all the elements so that it's quite, it's visible there. All right, I'm gonna create another text and which is super okay change the color to maybe black i'm gonna change this to another dancing script okay i'm gonna move this super and just on top of the combo and copy the transform from the combo Control c and select this super Control v to paste it okay you can always reposition maybe even size it down and do whatever you want all right so let's create it the price tag so without selecting any layers here, go and select this ellipse tool with, a, with no stroke and a fill color. And hold down shift and drag it like this. You'll have a perfect circle. So let me rename this price tag. Okay. So grab the text and maybe I'm going to duplicate this combo, control D move it just above the price tag and rename this to $1.25 and I'm gonna change the color to white or black, whatever you want, okay? Skate it down and center here. So I'm gonna select this price tag and move it down a little bit somewhere here and I'm gonna parent this text to the price tag and select this price tag layer Select this, pen behind tool and move this to the center. Hold down control and that will snap it to the middle of this. All right, so 
now that you have the design let's start animating this okay one more thing we left out is the text the bottom text which is call now five two five two okay this is just a random number okay let's change this color back to red so that everything blends together scale it down and move it to the oops center like this all right so something like this okay so now you check the alignment let's realign everything so that everything stays in the center of the composition all right so now that you have the design let's work on the animation first things first let's animate this burger all right so this is the burger hit p on the keyboard hold down shift on the keyboard hit page down twice set a keyframe go back to the first frame and we're gonna pull this position up way up and you have this okay so in order to have that bouncy bouncy animation we're gonna use a script which is this I've pasted it in the description down below you can copy it copy that leave that aside hold down alt and click on this position and control V to paste it okay so once you play it back now that you have this so make sure you don't easy ease it because if you do that it's gonna take away all that okay so let's just keep it as a linear keyframes like this all right so you have this and make sure you turn on the motion blur and I'm gonna do the same for all the other layers okay P for the maybe for the coke first okay so P one two page down set a keyframe and go to the first frame and I'm gonna move this up somewhere roughly here okay I'm gonna do for this the same for the french fries P go to these keyframes and oh, sorry keyframes set a keyframe go back to the first and we have all the same animation here okay so hold down alt and click on this position and I'm gonna paste that expression and I'm gonna do the same for this hold down alt click on this and paste that expression to that okay so you have this so these are the three layers hit U on the keyboard to see the keyframe so we have all the keyframes in one single position so we're gonna offset this okay so hit page down twice one two and move this layer here and one two page down and move this here so now that you have this you have some offset here all right so that's looking very great and maybe I just want to move this above here so that we have the coat on top so you can always rename this not to confuse so this is fries and this is burger all right okay so now that you have that let's animate the text I've made a text animation presets you can download it from the links below it's free go to text motion designer text animation and I'm gonna use this animation presets that I've created all right so go and select this combo and I'm gonna use bounce from below drag and drop it and even super bounce from below okay so I'm gonna offset this timing because once I have this and I want this text to come up like that so make sure to turn on the motion blur for all the layers okay and before creating the animation for this price one thing we left out is that just after we animate this it's all static here it's not moving at all so we have we want to have this bouncing throughout the timeline we're gonna create that just stick till the end of the video we're gonna first create create this animation for the price tag okay so s to bring up this scale one two page down hold down shift and hit page down twice set a keyframe for the scale go back to the first and set this to zero so once you have is this ok 
okay so I'm gonna do the same hold on alt and click this and paste that expression maybe maybe I'm gonna bring this close so once you are done with that I'm gonna bring this I just want the, all the items all the food items and the text to appear and later on I want the price to come up something like that okay right after that I want this call now which I'm gonna use a bounce from below drag and drop it and move these somewhere here okay so once you play it back that's very 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 cool and there you have the problem so once you're done maybe there so once everything is revealed it's all static that's very boring we're gonna fix that so go and select this burger hit p on the keyboard and after this hold down shift and hit page down maybe one two three three set a keyframe and i'm gonna hit i'm gonna hold down shift and hit page down thrice one two three and this time i'm gonna move this up like this slight and hold down shift and hit page down thrice three and copy this keyframe control c control v paste it okay so so we're, we're gonna select all these excluding these two keyframes hit f9 for easy ease we're gonna do that for all the throughout the timeline okay hold down shift page down twice paste it so we're gonna do that for the fries hit p so one two three set a keyframe one two three and we're gonna move this maybe maybe down this time and one two three and up one two three you can copy this paste it see and paste it okay so select all these keyframes all these keyframes f9 and you're gonna do the same for the code okay so one two three set a keyframe and hold down shift page down thrice and we're gonna move this up one two three and copy and paste this all right so maybe change this to down and move it a little bit here copy one two three paste it paste it okay so select all the layers f9 if you play it back now i hope you learned something from this if you want to learn more after effects you can watch this video this is motion designer and i will see you in my next video take care